All right, question four of task one. We continue with ISCPDI, our assignment guideline recordings. Question four. Through the help of Porter's value chain, explain how secondary activities might contribute to this change. All right. So, Porter's value chain. Let's look at that first. Let's try to understand that. I have a small diagram there. Hope you can see it. So, Porter's value chain has um, support activities, also called secondary activities, and primary activities. So, a supply chain is synonymous with a value chain. For example, let's look at a supply chain. Let's say Coca-Cola. Raw materials enter the organization. The raw materials are processed, right? It's packaged. It's, it's bottled, it's frozen, it's shipped. All those things I mentioned there are value being added. So if you pack it something, you're adding value. If you freeze it, you're adding value. Let's go back. If you process it, if you take raw coffee beans and you process it, you're adding value to it. All right, if, you, if, you, um, if you put some flavors to it, you're adding value to it. If you package it, you're adding more value, right? And... And that's what many supply chains do. From vehicle, from vehicle manufacturing to making coffee, value is being added at different stages of the supply chain. Now, the primary activities are, are critical. That's like the engine room of the supply chain. In the primary activities, you see inbound logistics and operations and then outbound. Operations might involve vehicle assembly or the processing of the coffee. Inbound will be the raw materials entering the organization, entering that part of the supply chain, right? But this cannot happen without support activities. So I'm just giving an overview of, of um, the value chain first. Support activities, as the name suggests. Support activities support, in many ways, the value chain or the supply chain. So for Coca-Cola, Coca in order to get the raw material, someone must procure the raw material. For Coca-Cola, in, in, to ensure that the ERP platform, Enterprise Resource Planning Platform, whatever they use, whether it be SAP or Oracle, to ensure that the, the, the IT interface works smoothly, they need support from information technology. All right? Human resource management. Human resource, they provide training. They provide, they, they identify persons with the right skill set. They do cross-functional uh, training. They do recruitment, all right? Without HR, the supply chain will not be able to function. Yes, there's automation and robotics, but people are still there. Then you have firms infrastructure. That's where management is, and that's where finance is located, right? Finance is the budget holder. Nothing can be procured without finance. They are the ones that, they are paying suppliers as well, all right? They have to... They have to. Um, um, they have that portfolio to manage, and then you have uh, management or the board of directors steering the organization into the right direction. No, all right. What does that this have to do with the question? No, through the help of Porter's five forces. Sorry, through the help of Porter's value chain, explain how secondary activities might contribute to this change. No, hmm. so just imagine. Secondary, also called support activities. Now, if I'm now reloc if I'm relocating, if I am relocating, or if I am now sourcing uh, my raw material from Indonesia, then it will not be business as usual as usual. Sorry for my supply chain, for my value chain. So let's look at the support activities. That I don't want to use the word disrupt, but that will will cause some some um, some adjustments to my support activities, case in point, right? Or so, or some reaction. So if we are, if we now if we have a supplier in Indonesia who is now supplying us with raw material, then that's a new portfolio. We may, we may have to assign a, a buyer to that desk or to that um, to that um, um, supply stream or supply source. Yes, right. In terms of um, in terms of information technology, right? There might requ there might be we might require we might require some connectivity, right? 
on 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 an ERP basis with that supplier, especially for big companies, right? So for big companies like the Walmart and so on, they will have their suppliers connected, all right, or connected to their their um, their network, all right, virtually, right, virtually. Okay, whether it be through vendor manager inventory or just uh, collaborating, receiving orders, you know, the purchasing side, receiving orders, um, um, RFQs being placed and so on. So you have you have that um, that that virtual connection or that or you have ID, the IT platform connecting the supplier or suppliers with your organization with your enterprise. So if there's a supplier or there a new supplier, then we will have to ensure that yes there's compatibility with the suppliers platform um, along with our along with ours and we we can have that supplier be on you know be included in our in our um, IT enterprise if I may look at it that way right finance as well finance being the budget holder right if we if we have new suppliers all right or, or, or if we reduce our suppliers or if we set up a plant in another country, finance will have a role to play there as well. So finance will have to provide um, funding for those arrangements. If they, let's say there's a new supplier, finance will, will have to budget for, for whether it be the auditing or the overall management of that supplier, especially in the early stages of, of choosing a, a, a new vendor in some part of the world. All right, you, you know, you, you will have to go, you may have to visit that vendor, right? You may have a series of meetings and so on, right? And and these things cost money. Yes, we're having virtual, virtual meetings now, but um, you may have to do a, a side visit, right? So, and just going back to procurement, procurement has, has, a, has a big role there. Not, I wouldn't say the, the, the biggest role because it's a procurement oriented program but we have a key role there so procurement will have to build new um, strategies or develop new strategies for these new suppliers or these new these new distribution hubs and so on all right so there will be new strategies right we may have to assign um, a new fleet of trucks or we may uh, or we may have I did mention that we might assign someone to the desk to manage that particular supplier and so on right so support activities also called sec also called secondary activities will see their role being um being adjusted they will have to make some adjustment adjustments sorry right with the configuration of the supply chain network right so if the supply chain network goes through some kind of change or changes then it will affect HR, right, in terms of manpower and, and training and who would be assigned to where and so on, right? Who will visit the supplier, who will be assigned to the particular desk. You have to, may have to recruit new people. You may have to, we may have to um, move someone, well, with consultation from the department head of procurement. You may have to move someone from one um, procurement portfolio to, to another and so on right so that's that's the idea behind behind this right so let me read my guideline an overview of porter's value chain will be will do well here at first so what you should do in answering the question um, would be to talk about michael porter's value chain you can have a that you can use this diagram as well or any other in the case of secondary activities also called support activities and their contribution. IT, for example, will be required to align or configure the software to suit the new design. Yes, correct. For example, a network that integrates the upstream vendor through, say, vertically backward integration, right, will see the supply side of the business fully adopting the existing software. Yes, correct. All right. So vertically backward integration is when your supply chain takes control of a supplier all right <coughs> sorry upstream hr can support the design by restructuring staff within the various supply chain functions right uh, and hr will work with the supply chain manager to do that can you give an example with a primary function input so that's what this is about all right so if we go all the way back to question number question number two question number two we identify the we identify the challenges yes in question number three, we try to, to fix these challenges by applying some supply chain strategies 
which would include and which will be linked to um, a, re a reconfiguration of two supply chain networks, right? And question number four, we're saying that the, the reconfiguration of all of the above will require some changes or some additional work maybe to your support activity, also call your secondary activity or activities, which will be finance, or the firm finance and management, human resource management, technology development and procurement. Firms infrastructure will be finance and top management. All right. Thank you very much. I think that is it. Thank you. Bye.